Hi friends, welcome to our channel Life is to Live. This is Dr. G. Reddy Shekhar Reddy. I am here to share with you a few simple steps to, to learn spoken English easy. That is why we put the topic for today's uh, video is Speak English easily. To be frank, all the people want to speak English. Many people want to learn spoken English and converse in English, but all the people feel that it is difficult to learn English and to speak English. Most of the people believe that without learning complete grammar, it is difficult to speak English. But in fact, we are giving simple steps, even though you don't know the grammar, you can speak English easily. Just by learning 11 verbs and how to use them, you can speak English easily. Shall we go for these 11 verbs and how to use them to speak English? In these 11 verbs, there are B forms, In these B forms, we have am, or, is, was, and were. These are B forms. Next, do forms. In the do forms, we have do, does, and did. Next we have have forms. In the have forms we have have, has, and had. These are the 11 forms of the verb which I am speaking about. If we know these 11 forms of the verb and we know how to use them, then it is easy to speak English. See, B forms 5, do forms 3, have forms 3, total 11. These are the 11 forms of the verb which I am speaking about. If we learn these 11 verbs and know how to use them effectively, we can easily speak English even though we don't have command over English grammar. So let us see how to use these things. Actually before going to use them, we have to know one thing that what is spoken English? Spoken English is all about asking questions and giving answers. When someone wants to get some information, he has to ask some question. When someone asks a question, we are supposed to give some answer. This questioning and answering is all about spoken English. So, we have to learn how to use these verbs to prepare questions and to give answers. See, for example, we take is to write an example. First, see here, he is a teacher. He is a teacher. See, it is a statement. See here, we used is here. And it can also be made as negative statement. See, for example, he is not a teacher. It is negative statement. Now, then, we can use question. If we want to make a statement from your question, we have to use the verb mean in the beginning. For example, is he a teacher? It is a question. We can make it negative and interrogative. Isn't he a teacher? Isn't it? See here, we use these is, the verb is in four sentences. The first sentence is a statement, the second sentence is a negative statement, the third sentence is a question 
and fourth sentence is a negative interrogative. In four different ways we use this verb. See, when we want to ask someone or something what it is or something like that, we have to use a question like this. See, here we used is. Is he a teacher? If we want to ask about someone else, we can use is he a teacher? Then, while giving answer, if he is a teacher, if we want to give the same information, we have to use the positive statement. So, when there is a question, is he a teacher? Yes, he is a teacher. For example, if that person is not a teacher, so we have to give negative statement. At that time, we are using, along with is, we are using not. It makes negative. So, he is not a teacher. When he is not a teacher, we have to use the negative statement, he is not a teacher. And as I told you, it is used for question. And sometimes, if even though you know the answer, again if you ask, then we can use negative interrogative. See, saying that, isn't he a teacher? For example, I am a teacher, I am teaching here. If you ask me, I mean, is he a teacher? So, you are seeing that he is a teacher, even though knowing the truth you are asking again. So that we can ask, isn't he a teacher? Like that we can. So, like this we can use is in these four forms. Isn't it? Next, we just go with the do form. Isn't it? See for example, do you know English? I start with a question this time because in the spoken English there is a question and answer like that. So that is why I started with the, a question. See we use here do form. Do form in the beginning. So, so it, 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 it happened a question. Isn't it? Do you know English? If someone asks me, do you know English? So I can say that, yes, I know English. See, for example, if someone asks me, do you know English? Yes, I give positive answer. That is what I know English. Here, I know in the sense, this is, this is meant that I do know English. Isn't it? For example, if I don't know English, how, how can I give negative impression? See, that is what I do not know English. This is negative. If I know English, give the positive statement. I know English. If I don't know, I don't know English. I do not know. Negative statement. Even though you know that I know English, if you ask again, I give negative interrogative. That is, don't I know English? Don't I know English? Without knowing, how can I teach you English? Like this. See here, we used do to make a question, that is interrogation. We used a positive statement, I know. I do know English and we used negative statement I do not know English and we used negative interrogative by using do plus not don't like this we can use do forms to make cause mean interrogation a positive statement negative statement and the negative interrogative like that we can use one have form also isn't it for example Have you completed homework? Isn't it? Have you completed homework? See here, we used to have form at the beginning. We have a question here. Isn't it? Have you completed homework? Isn't it? To here, we, if we want to give positive statement, positive answer, yes. I have completed homework, positive statement, see here we used to have here, I have completed homework, positive statement, if I haven't completed we have to do the same in the negative statement, see, I haven't completed homework 
isn't it? Here, have plus not haven't. So, I haven't completed homework. Isn't it? See, if negative interrogative, you can say, Haven't I completed homework? Like this. Here, Posit Minna. It is used for interrogation question. Have you completed your homework? So positive answer, I have completed homework. Negative answer, I haven't completed homework. And negative interrogative, haven't I completed homework? Yesterday you saw that I completed. Again you are asking, so haven't I completed? Like that we can. See, we have used B form, is, here. We have used do form, do, here. And we have used have form, here. In each and every example, we used in four different manners. One is a question, another one is a positive statement, and next one is a negative statement, and negative interrogative question. Like this, we have, in the spoken English, either questioning, or uh, I mean answering positively, answering negatively, or sometimes asking neg I mean, uh, negative interrogative. Like this, we have to we have to learn using each and every verb in these four ways, so that we can learn how to use it in the spoken English. That is why I am saying that to know. Just learn these 11 verbs and how to use them so that you can speak. This is what we need to speak English. If you know how to use these verbs in the four manners so that you can speak English. So you have to do that. Each and every one of these verbs you have to write in a statement. Then change into negative statement. Then change into negative interrogative. Then change into interrogative. Like that if you try to converse if you try to change these sentences into four so that you can learn how to use them this is what you have to learn and practice regularly so that you can speak English See, whatever you wrote here whatever you are trying here this is what you are supposed to practice in the day-to-day -day life if you do like that without bothering about grammar Simply by learning these 11 verbs and using them, you can speak English easily without any difficulty. So, now how do you feel that? Yeah, definitely it is easy. It is not that much of difficult to speak English. Just try with these 11 verbs. See how to use am in the statement, negative statement, interrogative, interrogation and negative interrogative sentence. In the same manner, where we have to use or, see, in the foreman. See here, this is a, 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 diff, I mean, a division. All these verbs have to be used in the present. All these verbs have to be used in the past form. Like this, you have to learn and use these 11 verbs in four different kinds of sentences, either in written or in spoken, so that you can learn easily to speak English. See, like this, we can start speaking English simply, but to speak com with command, to speak fluently, definitely we need grammar also. But many people believe that learning grammar is very difficult, but in fact it is not. So to make it easy, to, give, to tell you that it is easy, we are going to upload some series of videos on English grammar with simple steps, simple methods to learn English. You just follow our channel, Life is to Live. Just subscribe our channel and click on the bell symbol so that immediately you can get updates when we upload a new video. So that you can follow and you can learn. Just subscribe and share the video link with your friends and relatives so that they can also get benefited to learn English grammar and spoken English. Thank you. All the best.